to another episode of Simulation Lab, where we test the simulation engine of a simulation game. And today we are on City Skylines. In order to answer one question, can we have a city run on a single house or none at all? Well, let's grab the road tool and find out. And there we go, our little house is growing. Stop it, chirper. And, uh, alright, let's see what kind of uh, citizens we get. Oh, sh stop, stop, just stop. Alright, there we go. Now, of course, it is not going to be a single family because you can have multiple households in a single house. In this case, it's three. Now, I could make a smaller house, but why would I do that? Alright, so we're getting a car. This is going to the Birch residence. So this is full, like the house is packed. We still cannot get a, a commerce to build here and uh, this one is having no uh, issues with not getting enough workers. This dog represents like 5% of the population right there. Other two dogs, that's 10% dogs. Okay, so we are gonna put in some services because they are complaining about this is, this is something really faulty on the simulation. This does not make any sense. We're gonna see if we can get a card to spawn. There we go. Look at this. Right? It will, it will pop a siren if there's a building with a very high crime rate. Right? That is it. Whenever it reaches and touches... Though, I mean, in this case, it's gonna stop. There we go. Now it's blue. Alright. So only on these scenarios, which it gets really bad, it will go and do this little thing of going in and out and that's it. But this is not actually like, there is no crime. This is poorly simulated in my opinion. Okay, hold on, hold on everything because now we have a drugstore. You know, this one needs workers. So what we're gonna do is that, yeah, we're gonna demolish this. We don't need this and we're not gonna have industries. We, we can't have industries here. There's no point in doing that. We're gonna see what happens with this little shop right here. Well, we took a whole spin around the city. This is working. It has no workers, but it's working. For some reason, things are working magically, but you cannot explain them. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna have any business here. We're just gonna have a park. How about that? Also, I like to highlight, it, it is pretty funny, uh, the reflections they, they put in these uh, little windows. I see a whole city on the other side. I don't know where that city is, but it's not there. So I don't know, I guess we could say that this little house is providing for itself. That is uh, that is really the only conclusion I can, I can arrive to. Can you have a city w function with this? Sure. Can we have a city function without it? Let's find out. So it would seem that our ghost city is working. You can hear sort of the sound effects of the uh, buildings that are quote-unquote working operating normally, so apparently they don't have an issue with not having any workers in the buildings. Park, well, it, it does make sense that it works without people, that is okay. And we do have somebody that is, well, driving this, apparently, but there's no citizens in the city, so this is actually quite interesting. You can have a ghost town, pretty much, uh, as long as you don't use neither residential nor commercial nor industries. You won't have any issues. Everything will work fine. The power plants will work fine. Uh, you, the pumping stations will work fine as well. The sewage will work fine. You don't need people for any of these to function, actually. It is it's quite interesting. Let's do one more thing. Let's see what happens if you add a transportation system to this. So there we go, our transportation system in the ghost city, this is actually quite impressive. We're just getting a bunch of vehicles just coming out and they're going to pick up, well, nobody. But uh, they're all gonna go through this anyways and uh, eh, they're, gonna, they're gonna get really disappointed. 
I guess our conclusion is... It is quite creepy, you... You hear that? Guys, guys, you hear that? There are kids in the school and there's no population in the city. This is really, really creepy. This is really creepy. The simulation of this game is really creepy. So I guess we could say that uh, Serious Scanning Simulation is quite iffy when it comes to uh, why things are occurring, right? It has no way to explain all this, it just works, right? So it is skipping a little bit on the simulation, it's not doing a very deep simulation in that sense. Uh, it, you know, and that, that is actually one of the characteristics of Serious Scanning. It, it is not as deep, but it is broad, it is very huge, right? It is about the larger scope of things, right? Why does a, does a clinic work? Well, because it's a clinic and it will work. Why is the bus transportation system working even if there's no population? Well, because it's a bus transportation system and therefore it just works. And you know, that is fine. The real answer is, can you have a city run with one house? Sure. Can you have a city run without a house? Sure. And I guess that is pretty much it. Uh, I guess the real answer here is, can you have a ghost city? Yes, you can. And we're gonna jump on this bus because we're gonna be the only passenger in the city because really there's nobody else. And we can proclaim for now that yes, this has been all for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, this is the most satisfying thing ever. We are God in SimCity 4. Wow, that was loud. <laughs> oh, you're gonna eat that, huh? You're gonna eat it. I see. What? Nothing. Okay. And now she is tossing that salad with her... Stop sticking your finger in your ear! Alright, she's tossing the salad with her earwax. It does. Yeah. It does. <laughs> it does it really well. Okay. Oh, they're coming for you, I, Pablo! Shit, Run! Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. These road trips, man, are killing me. Anyway, let me know whenever we are recording. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Extended Play. I'm your host, this is Stuart, and that is a fancy, fancy sign. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.